Hi, I'm Chad, and this is a sample video tutorial from my online InDesign course that has over 13 hours of helpful instruction. In this complete guide to InDesign, you'll design a poster, a lookbook, an annual report, and much more as you master InDesign. Check out the link in the description for more information. Thanks! All right, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to go over cropping and fitting graphics in the image frame. So some special considerations when we're doing that. So again, the frame is not the same as the image itself. So I'm going to zoom in right over here. And you'll see right here if I click and drag over with the selection tool, the black arrow, you'll see there's more of the photo here. There's this person over here who's in the photo as well that we need to include. So how can we do that? Well, a couple things. If I double click, you'll see this orange line over here. Well, what is that? Well, that's actually the edge of the entire photo. So if I click and double click again, now I'm selecting just the image frame with the image inside it. If I double click, now I see where the actual photo is. So this image frame is much smaller than the actual size of the image here. So for example, if I double click back over here and click and drag, we'll see it has all that area. So there are a couple of things we can do. We can click and drag the edge of this uh, or replace it so that the image frame is right along the edge of the photo. And then we can just manually resize it. And we'll do that in a later lesson in this section. But for this, let's just do some fitting options. So what we can do up at the top, if you have your window maximized a bit, I'll just bring this over so we can see a couple more options. If we hover over this, there's fill frame proportionately, fit content proportionately, and then there's fit content to frame, fit frame to content, and then center content. So centering it, obviously we'll just center it, right? And then if we fit content to frame, what that will do is it will take the content and distort it if it's not the same width to height ratio and fit it inside that frame. So I'll click that to show you what I mean. So it's a little bit distorted because the original photo is more landscape oriented. The width is larger than the height. So I'm gonna hit edit undo to undo that. And then this one, fit frame to content, it just takes the frame and then takes the image, the content in this example, and just matches it up to the original image size. So we don't want that because that will just cover up the entire spread. The other one, fit content proportionately and then fit frame proportionally, what that does is you'll see if I do fill frame proportionately, we've got a little bit more content in there, but it does a pretty good job. See, there's a little bit more in there without having to crop out too much. So I'll undo, go back a couple steps here. And the other one, fit content proportionally, if I click that, what that does is it makes sure all the image is in, inside and showing, but we've got some empty area. So this area up here and this area down here, because the width is larger than the height in this original photo, and this is closer to being a perfect square. It's not quite a perfect square, I don't think, but the image frame is closer to square shaped then we've got some blank space at the top and the bottom. So if it's really important to have the entire photo included in there, then we would want to use that second one and then adjust the image frame as needed. Now, if it's not a big deal, if we crop out part of the edge, then we can click that first one, which is fill frame proportionally. We can also adjust this not just on the top, on the control panel, if we have our window large enough on there, we can also go to Object, Fitting, and then we have the same options right here. Fill frame proportionally, fit, fit content proportionally, fit frame to content, fit content frame, and center content. Those are the same exact ones that we just went over up there. So for example, if I did fit content proportionally, it would do the same thing. So I'll click on this next one, and I'll go to Object, Fitting, and for this one, I'll do fit frame proportionally, I'm going to click this one and click that one. So they're both selected at the same time. I held shift in between those two. So as long as we hold shift and click and click, then we can select both of those. And then object, fitting, and then fill frame proportionally. All right, now these are all fit in there, but we can still adjust them. Notice how it turns into that hand when we go over the middle. What that means is we're then moving the image inside the frame. So if I move that over a little bit to the right, or over to the left, like so, we could do that. If we want to move the objects around, then again, we got to click and drag somewhere around here. 
not on the edge, which is where we can crop or resize, not in the middle where we're moving that image inside the frame around in the frame. So I can double click and see the original photo. I can double click again or hit escape and then it will go back to just selecting the frame. So this is the content grabber in the middle. It used to in earlier versions of InDesign have kind of a donut shape in the middle. If we use the direct selection tool, this white arrow, it's always acting in that way with the hand there. So if I click and drag with the white arrow at any time, it's going to be moving that image inside the frame. But if I use the black arrow, the selection tool, then I can move it around, resize the edge, and so on. And if I hover in the middle, it acts as if I'm using the white arrow, the direct selection tool. Speaking of which, if we did use the white arrow and I just click on a corner here, we can click and drag and really make a custom shape if we wanted. We'll be dealing with shapes later. Now if we don't want that to do that, if you want to move these around, if you have the black air selected and you just get tired of that hand showing up where it's moving around as a shortcut, you'd rather it be where, hey, if I want to move that around in the frame, all I would do is use the direct selection tool. And if I want to move it around on the page, I can use the selection tool and turn that option off where it moves it around in the frame if we're directly in the middle. We can do that. We just go to view and then extras and then hide content grabber. And what that does is now, if I hover in the middle, it doesn't add that content grabber option. And we can also go to object, fitting, and then besides these top five options, you can also clear the frame fitting options if we don't want the frame fitting to be applied. We can also go to frame fitting options. And from there, we've got some of those options, but then we also can tell it to align from a specific area. So if it's filling frame proportionally, is it going to be centered or work from the left or the right? And you can see it right here. I have preview checked. It's a little bit different effect. So if you have it here, it's keeping that left edge in. If you keep it over here, it keeps the right edge in. And by default, it's in the middle. So if you like one more than the other, we can select that and then click OK. And one more tip, besides clicking and holding with the content grabber, where we can actually see the original image inside that image frame, we can also use the selection tool and just go to the corner here and double click and that will expand out the image frame so that matches that image matching the size that we've got it adjusted to. So I'm going to press Control or Command Z to undo that just to show you that as an option. Alright, thanks and we'll see you in the next lesson. Hi, I'm Chad and this is a sample video tutorial from my online InDesign course that has over 13 hours of helpful instruction. In this complete guide to InDesign, you'll design a poster, a lookbook, an annual report, and much more as you master InDesign. Check out the link in the description for more information. Thanks!